okay so hello student so this session is for uh, student those who are starting the physics you know as part of the career uh, maybe from class 8 and class 9 so what are the key things you have to understand when you are studying physics first thing is that motion so motion is having velocity right what is velocity okay so velocity is a vector quantity velocity means you know displacement by time displacement means whenever the shortest distance we are traveling between two point is displacement so velocity is displacement by time what is the unit of velocity so this will be meter per second so unit will be formula wise unit of displacement is meter unit of time is second so velocity unit of velocity is meter per second in si and in cgs centimeter per second now next is acceleration what is acceleration acceleration you know means a is equal to b minus u by t so change of velocity by time okay now so this velocity is vector quantity acceleration is vector quantity now let's say when you are starting in class 8 what is the first thing you are going to learn that is force okay so force the so force means you know mass into acceleration force cause the acceleration mass will be constant right so force causing the acceleration okay so whenever you know we are, we are applying force maybe in let's say football we are kicking the football right so there is a change in velocity of the football and change in velocity with certain time is presenting the acceleration so force cause acceleration and acceleration cause change of velocity these are all vector quantity velocity vector quantity acceleration vector quantity force is a vector quantity so what is vector quantity those having the a magnitude along with the direction whenever we are applying a force like this okay so we are applying a force in this direction having a magnitude of the force along a direction if you apply the force in this the direction will be change okay so force is equal to mass into acceleration this is very important relation when you are starting the physics now what is the unit of force unit of force is newton in si and dyne in cgs now how does newton came what is how the newton is coming here the unit so unit of mass is kg unit of acceleration is meter per second square so it's becoming kg meter per second square okay so this is equivalent to the newton so this way you have to get the concept with you right so this is about the force now in the starting of class 8 you are getting that the pressure so pressure is equal to you know thrust thrust by area thrust by area so what is thrust thrust is the force acting on a surface you know in a perpendicular direction may be downward may be upward whatever it's a perpendicular force so thrust is a force acting in perpendicular direction may be downward may be upward okay now area now area let's say we are applying a force here and this is the area a so i am applying a force here this area a so pressure will be you know force by area so just follow my session this way i'll take small small session for you to get the basic of the physics so pressure is force by area and you know pressure is a scalar quantity right so this is an important relation when you're starting the physics so pressure is proportional inversely proportional to the area so more the area pressure will be reduced if area reduced pressure will be increased example the knife the sharp edge is helping in applying more pressure and whenever you are trying to reduce in pressure let's say there is a truck you are applying 16 you know wheels so that truck can take huge load to reduce the pressure right so this way These are basic things in ICSC class eight and also in CBSC. We'll get to learn. So, what is the unit of pressure? That is the Pascal or Newton by area, force by area. Now, next things which is very important: the moment of force. The moment of force is starting in class eight. Moment of force means force into distance. Like whenever we are, you know, let's say there is a door, right? 
there is a door you are applying a force to open the door so force apply in a certain point and distance from the pivot hinge right so this is the distance and this is the force so force into distance causing the moment of force this is called the turning effect whenever you are opening a door that's a turning effect right so this is starting in the class 8 now again the more concept will come in class 10 but starting from class 8 if you go this way you will definitely get some better idea right so next things you are getting in class 8 so this is a brief session follow my session i will go to the next session in a more details like kinetic energy so kinetic energy is half m v square and potential energy is you know mgh so kinetic energy caused by, by the motion like a football is in motion it's having a velocity it will be having a kinetic energy so kinetic energy acquired when object is in motion right when object not in motion due to the change of the position right or change of the size and shape so change of the shape like if i compress a spring so it will get a potential energy if i am taking from here to here it will get a height so it will get the potential energy m is mass g for acceleration due to gravity h for height so these are the mechanical energy okay so just follow my session i will take the you know basic physics classes uh, you know the next sessions and i believe it will really help you okay thanks for watching the session